Tuko pamoja. Hebu nione wala wanasema tuko pamoja. Bas sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Sasa wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mkaribishe waziri eh, Munya aje asome taarifa ya rais na pia aseme mambo yake. Karibu waziri. Encouragement following the death of Mama Mary Wamboi Wainaina. Losing her mother is a very painful experience. We join you in mourning Mama, Lu Mama Mary through Linda of Substance and a patriotic Kenyan. We give glory to God for the time He gave you to be with her and share the best in life together as a family. Mama Mary's commitment and devotion to our family and community was unrivaled. And I would really plead with you to just keep quiet. We are in a, in a barrio. Those who are uh, talking, we are in a barrio and uh, we respect the mother of our friend who is the MP, Mr. Wainaina, and in our traditions, we respect because we are giving Mama Wamboi the last respect. And this is a very solemn ceremony. Na Eshima si utumwa. Eshima si utumwa. Na uki Eshimiana, na we pia uta Eshimiwa. Sindio? Uki Eshimiana, uta Eshimiwa. And if you humble yourself, you will be exalted. That is what the Bible says. If you humble yourself, you will be exalted. If you exalt yourself, the reverse is also true. And that's why there is more humility than Jesus Christ himself, who is our Lord and Savior. So with a lot of respect to everybody here, including the Deputy President, this is a very, very solemn occasion where we are giving the last respects to the mother of one of our friends and one of our leaders. Tunaelewana hivyo, na shukuru nyinyi kwa kuti hiyo. Mama Mary's commitment, so nitaendelea kusoma otuba, lakini liona nivizuri niseme hivyo. Na pia niseme, President, Yeye ndiye alinituma nije ni ni msome hotuba yake. Si ndio? Na ako na haki ya kuchagua yule anataka kutuma. Hakuna ubaya hapo. Isifanywe kama ni siasa na unjeuri mwingi. President yako na haki ya kuchagua yule anataka kuja apeane hotuba yake. Tunaelewana? Si ndio? Bas, sasa mimi ni mtumwa, nimetumwa tu kuja kufanya hii kazi. Sindio? Pia ni seme, kwa sababu nataka nikisoma utuba yake iwe sasa ndiyo mwisho, saki kurudia. Ni seme, yale mambo ya maendeleo, Deputy President ya mesema, na hata mbunge wa eneo ili ya mesema, ni kweli, mimi nilikuwa hapa, kwa mambo ya, ya majani chai, na kahawa, na tunaendelea viema, kufanya hiyo kazi ambao President ya metupa ya kuhakikisha wakulima wa kahawa na wa chai wameongezeka pesa yao imeongezeka ndio pia waweze kusomesha watoto wao na waweze kufanya mambo yao yale mengine na nilipokuwa hapo mambo ya hiyo barabara ambayo imetajwa ya Gatukuju Makwa 
ngedhu igamba ili niliambiwa na nilipomalisha mkutano nilienda nikampigia president mwenyewe nikamueleza na akaniambia najua hiyo barabara na akapiga simu nikiwa hapo hapo tukiwa kwa simu akapigia macharia nikiwa hapo hapo akamwambia hiyo barabara iwekwe kwa budget ndio iweze kutengenezwa pia hiyo barabara iko na shinda ya contractor wakati tulikuwa sagana wale walikuwa huko tulisugumzia mambo ya project zote zile sa eneo hili zile ambazo zimekwama na hiyo msia na machari akasema tatua hiyo shinda ya hiyo contractor ndio hiyo barabara iweze kufanywa iweze kumkamilika kwa hivyo president anaendelea kuangazia maendeleo ya eneo hili la Gatundu na Kiambu na akiendelea pia kuangazia maendeleo ya eneo lile eneo zile zingine za Kenya na sisi hatujawahi kusema president wa Kenya ni president wa Mount Kenya pekee hapana president wa Kenya tunamheshimu ni president wa Kenya yote kama vile anafanya maendeleo kule kuingine pia anakuja anafanya maendeleo eneo hili la Mount Kenya kwa sababu Mount Kenya pia ni Kenya. Kwa hivyo hakuna tofauti hapo na yale mheshimiwa deputy president ya Menena. Kwa kipupi sana kwa hivyo nitaendelea kusoma utuba Mama Mary's commitment and devotion to her family and community was unrivaled. She was particularly passionate about improving not only her immediate family, but also the community in which she lived. I am informed that since our childhood, Mama Mary didn't allow the word failure to be part of our vocabulary. She always strived to make the best out of any situation in life. Devoted believer in Christ, Mama Mary would also be remembered for the role she played in church. As a person of enormous influence and outstanding ability, Mama Mary was untiring in sharing part of resources with others. It goes, it goes without saying that many will miss her, her wise counsel, guidance, and leadership, especially the most vulnerable in the society. Our works of charity will forever be ingrained in the minds and lives of the many orphans and windows whom she touched through our donations and support. It is evident that Mama Mary was truly committed to service to her family, the community, and the nation. In the fullness of time, she, together with her late husband, Sir Benjamin Wainaina, brought up a distinguished family that is evidenced by my very dear friend here, Engineer Wainaina. Hmm? Our family members, among them the Vika member of Pass, emulated the appearance. Although she has to our family and many others who knew her. We are privileged that she lived amongst us and we thank God for the times he shared with her. We take solace in the scriptures as recorded in the book of Psalms 116 verse 15 which says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. It is my prayer that the Almighty God will give you the strength and grace to bear the loss. May the Almighty God rest the soul, Mama Mary, Wamboi Wainaina, in everlasting peace. Uhuru, Kenyatta, CGH, President of the Republic of Kenya, 9th February 2021. Hata kama hii kuandikwa kwa hotuba 
President pia aliniambia nikija niwaletee salamu zake. Umepokea salamu zake? Na pia akaniambia anashughulikia hiyo maendeleo yote na hivi karibuni atatembea eneo hili kuja kukagua mirandi hii na pia kuja kuongea nanyi na kuzungumza nanyi. President anapenda wa Kenya wote na anapenda watu wa eneo hili pale ametoka nyumbani kwake hapa. Kwa hivyo anashughulikia kama vile nimewaeleza nilipomueleza mambo ya hiyo barabara hakungoja za hiyo hiyo ndiye alipiga hiyo simu na akahakikisha imewekwa kwa mpango wa kuhakikisha imetengenezwa. Na wakati tulikuwa kule Sagana tulikalia maendeleo yote ya eneo hili kuhakikisha maendeleo yale yako nyuma yameshelewa kidogo yameweza kuchugulikiwa kwa sababu wakati unayoyoma na nataka hiyo maendeleo yote ifanyike na ndio kama vile mwenyewe anasema kila wakati ndio sababu yeye spend a lot of his time kwa ofisi akipanga maendeleo na kama vile alisema hii maendeleo upangwa kwa maofisi lazima ukalie huko ukae na mikutano na wafanyikazi na ministers ndio muweze kupanga hii mambo ya maendeleo kwa hivyo kwa very kwa kipupi sana mmepokea salamu zake nikirudi nipeleke salamu zake wangapi wanasema salamu simukie president tukirudi santeni sana santeni sana mungu awabariki